Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Seely P. Welcome to the fictional town of Krumbach. This is a new mod map out by Red Kindstus. 304.26 megabytes download, and in true Red Kindstus style, this is a stunning, it's a gorgeous map. Beautiful landscape, sweeping terrain, mountainous sections, multi layered and leveled. It's lovely it really really is contracts are available on this map we'll talk about slot count in just a moment um you do start with i'll say what i normally do let's go to our map on new farmer you do start with a few plots now these plots do have farms on them there's one more that can be purchased we've got the main farm area here and then next to that there's a sheep pen sheep paddock pasture we've then got here pigs and then down here a much larger sort of more commercial farm which has got a biogas plant on it as well um, now on new farm you start with all three of those like i said there is one more plot that we're going to need to purchase on our way around the verges of the map are purchasable for zero which gives you all of that for nothing field prices are pretty much average um, for other maps for the field sizes 176 grand for a field that size bigger field down there 430 we've got smaller fields and smaller plots 53 grand 56 grand um 28 i mean that one's got some of the um production chains on it i think all of the map is purchasable so we've got forestry and um like i said it's, it's a it's a really really nice map um so there are 12 collectibles we're going to cut across the road Lighting's great, colour palette is spot on. This is one of those, again, right up my street, this one. Sleep trigger is just here. We do have a garage section open to the side. Over this side, barn and building space, all our equipment and machinery is laid out. On new farmer, the slot count is 1,315. On farm manager and start from scratch is 1,179. The difference being you don't start with any of the equipment or machinery. But you do start with all the buildings. Um, but obviously, if you wanted to, you could come on here. We're in. If I go to build mode now and we go to demolish, I can demolish these if I want to. I can take buildings out um, once you own the plots of land. On new farmer, because you own three of the four farms available, you could get the slot count right down if you wanted to re remove buildings and put your own style on here. There are six required mods for this map. I won't read them out. They are linked in the description, or not linked, listed in the description. Um, and they do download automatically, so you haven't got to worry about finding them. They do download. So, barn and building over here. This is um, We've got the Franconian farm buildings, half timbered barns. Vehicle shelters, barn set. We've got a few bits and bobs. So these are all separate mods, but very nice. We can go all the way up to the top. It's very cool. So we'll come down up here. Oops. Didn't mean to go through that. Around the side, a oh, workshop trigger as well. Sorry, just there. As we come around, that's for decoration, but that's your sort of lifting bales and stuff. It's like a little little crane which is rather cool uh, another tractor over here fent with a front loader header for our harvester we've got rack for front loader gear just there some front loader gear to the side there we do start with a few hay bales and a uh, manitou telehandler in this shed so what i am missing Baylor, what is that? We will find it. Uh, Farmer 800 silo. Oh, actually, we should talk about build mode. Uh, there's nothing under vehicles and machinery. Under build mode, added in by the map maker on top of the required mods. Under sheds, we have got there under Kronbach these two timber frame. Oh, actually, maybe these are the ones. These are put in by the map maker. Yeah, they are. Oh, they're, they're really nice. I do like them. Oh, I just realised where it is. Uh, sorry, back to build mode. Uh, then we've got under silo extens extensions. Blimey. We've got a manure heap. We've then got under tools. A vehicle workshop. We've got under 
farmhouses. Just out on the end there, we've got the farmhouse on top of, and that one there, on top of required mods under production. Come on, there we go. I uh, don't think we had anything in the factories, did we? we? Might have done factories. There we go. So we've got a bakery, we've got a carpentry, we've got a sugar mill, and the biogas plant. It's all standard stuff, it's just been tweaked and adjusted. I think that's why it's under there. Nothing under greenhouses, orchards, or generators. Under animals. I don't think we had anything under animals. Cows, horses, pigs, sheep, chickens, bees. No, just the required mods. Decoration, there wasn't anything under there either. And then landscaping, we had a few paint textures in here. Cobbles and things like that. So that's been added in by the map maker, just realised. Around the side there, that could be where... So if I'm sure under our, our equipment we start with, there we go. We've got a baler. I didn't find it. That's because it's in here, there we go. Here's our grass work equipment and we've got a log trailer as, there, as well with a crane. So we start with a fair bit of stuff. Nice big shelter there. More equipment and machinery over here. A couple of trailers, one in bale trailer configuration, one in, I say, standard configuration. Cultivator, wind rower. Come down here and this is, we do start with it, but in farm manager will start from the scratch mode. This is a separate pasture. There's another big shed down there that you can utilize. This will hold 120 sheep in this pasture has a very natural feel to it. I know this is a fictional place, but it, it really does flow very, very nicely. If we hop the fence here, we've got our cow field, cow pasture, which will hold 25 just in here. So I'm going to grab the fence, I think, and we'll go around. There's a bit of driving, but this is one of those ones, um, the reason I'm saying stunning and gorgeous, and this is one of those maps that as I was driving around, I kept stopping and thinking, that'll make a great thumbnail, that'll make a great thumbnail. You know, it's one of those, it's just incredibly picturesque and really, really nice to drive around and be on, I think. So, we're going to head up to the northeast of the map, where there is a quarry of sorts, but it's kind of um, left for you to sort of adjust. We've got a little pathway that runs down the side here. It's got a bit of a Ravenport feel to that, actually, that, that track running down there. I remember on that map. So we're going to follow the road. Um, the river that runs through the map is of the same name, Krumbach. We've got a waterfall just here. Oh, it is nice, it's very nice. And then we've got the pizzeria just here. And we're going to follow the road round now, because as I said, we are going to... I haven't found a collectible. I didn't on the last map, it's all right. There were 12 in the last one. I didn't find one anywhere. I mean, to be fair, I don't go hunting for them. Usually, if I just come across one, brilliant. So, we're going to sweep round and follow the road. It's quite tight in places. I mean, to be fair, I'm driving a big old chunky tractor up here, but... Cars and pickups shouldn't be too bad. See what I mean about the layers and... Uh, levels it's it's brilliant this is a really really nice map so we shall continue so the quarry does have a lime station and a debris crusher but it also has a separate quarry but the quarry doesn't have anything in it that being said if you bought that quarry if you were going to do a storyline if you want to you know however you want to go about it there's nothing to stop you um, buying the quarry and then filling it with rock or filling it with lime or a bit of both or you know you could really go to town on it which I quite like that, that as an option that it's there but not it hasn't already got stuff in it off to our left sweeping down the hillside as we come along here we've got some grape vines grape orchards love that big old tree cut down it's just, it's just full of really nice detail. Look at that. Down the hillside, making the most of the sun. So, as we sweep up here, 
we have got our lime station and we have got a debris crusher just there and as I said across the road there we've got that entire quarry if we come back to the map uh, so we've started here at the farm and swept up here we've followed this route round all the way up here and we're now here so you can buy that entire plot which has that quarry on it um, like I said there's no lime or anything up there but you can do whatever you like can't you from here we're going to do a bit of cutting across I think um, there is a little road oh probably wasn't such a good idea this isn't the way I came before I thought it'd be quicker this way there we go down to the road oh that's the track I took there it is got too overexcited now we're going to go across the top of the map over to the northwest side There are a few pastures like this. I say pastures, they look like pastures. They are fenced in grass fields. A few of them off camera, I did purchase them just to double check. They weren't cow pastures. And as far as I could tell, all the ones I purchased were just fields. I didn't get any triggers come up for cows, but there's nothing to stop you putting open pastures and stuff in them if you wanted to. So, right across the top, It's a really nice blend of fields and forestry and, and a bit of everything. But then, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but when you've got sort of natural, like a copse of trees in the middle of a field, I know not everyone likes that because you have to farm around it and if you want to hire workers and that kind of thing. But that goes with any map, you know. Certain maps will favour certain styles of play and others will favour others, you know. So when we come out of the end of here, we need to do a sharp right, sharp left, or sharp right in front of the road, I think. Which will take us to the sawmill. I did my prep on this a little while ago, then I had to go and do something. I've come. Normally if I go straight off my prep into doing the video, it's all fresh in my mind. There we go, yeah, it's the sawmill. I've got my notes in front of me, but I try to avoid looking down because that's when crashes and things occur. This is a standard sawmill, lumber in, planks and wood chip out. A lot of the barriers, another not a word of warning, but I mean, I shouldn't really approach barriers at top speed. Anyway, the barriers take a little while to go up. Um, I speak from experience got a little bit clarted, I'm not going to lie. So we're now heading down the map. This is also, this has no real um, main town. It's sort of cell points dotted around the landscape, which is nice. There's no sort of centralised place. I did. Have, I got a bit of a Geiselsberg feel a little while ago when I was going around this. I don't know why. I think it was going up between some trees and then it sort of opened up to a valley the other side. And I don't know why. My brain just suddenly went Geiselsberg. Um, you. I mean, there's so many other maps that, are, that have got a similar sort of look and feel to them. So as we come down here on our well, not up, it'll be on our right, but then our left as we turn. Then we've got a gas station. Which is just there. As we turn in, we've got the vehicle shop just there with workshop trigger. That is the reset point on the map as well. Around the side of there, we do have a complimentary forklift truck just there for use, should you require it. Animal dealer point is just there. And then through that gateway there, just inside that barn, or just around in front of the barn, we've got the animal dealer bale cell point. So that's just here. So animal dealer, animal de dealer bales with a complimentary forklift. Just opposite, we've got the grain mill, just around there. So if you come back out of there and then drive along through the barriers there and around the side, that's the grain mill. Now 
out towards the next farm. So we're going to chuck another left. Just here. Missed my turning, that's alright. Turn in here. So we're turning just here, we've got carpentry. And then through past the carpentry, we've got the pig farm. So when I said we had sort of farms spread around on new farm, you do start with three of them. So here's your pig, I say pig farm, pig pen. This does 270 pigs. With shed space down the other end. So where are we? Where have we been? So from the quarry, we came down around there and across. Then we went right the way across the top of the map here, all the way across the sawmill. We then followed that road all the way down to here, to the gas station and cell points just here. Oh, the shop. I missed the shop. Sorry. Um, oh, we're going to come back out that way. We'll see it anyway. Uh, the vehicle shop, animal dealer, bale cell point, grain mill. We then took this turning up here, past the carpentry to the pigs. As you see, we do start with that plot and that whole area up there and that bit of woodland. Then we're going to go back down and we're going to head this way. I think the shop's at the gas station, that's probably why. I drove straight past the turn out there. Just on the end of the uh, gas station is where the shop is. Just over there where that person's walking. Right. Over the bridge and off to the right we've got the spinnery. Just over there. On this outcrop. Just here. A boggy flood plain down the bottom there where the river flows through and out there continuing on we come to the next set of cell points production chains We've got to our right, the bakery. And then next door to that, so bakery is just there. Restaurant is just there. We've got dairy. Whoa! <laughs> dairy just across the road to the left, but to the right here is the farm that I said there's a plot of land that needs to be purchased. So we've come down here. There's our bakery. There's our restaurant. Dairy just across the road. This plot here, 75. I just have enough for it. I need to put some money in. So if I click on that, 225,000, buy that and that and that, boom. Sleep trigger just here. We do have a wardrobe trigger just inside the building there. Shed space just here. We come round and across just here. We've got our cows. 45 of. Slurry manure points just there. Chickens and silo in here. This is a 300,000 litre silo. You've probably seen this mod and you've seen it on maps before. Um, open your floating pit just there. So 300,000 litre silo. Chickens just here, 360 in there. That opens right the way through. Some more barn and building space out the back. It's not a workshop at this one, but again, I say this all, lots of times on map tours. Um, there are so many available you can place out the mod hub. It's not crucial that they have them. So, nice additional farm. So, 
back onto the road. Now we're going to sweep down the hill to two cell points which are at the bottom, but the road's is a dead end in so much as the traffic goes off, the, off there, but you can't, so we'll have to come back up. But it winds down through the lovely landscape. And again, I know I keep saying it, but on you get maps where you're driving from A to B and you feel that the route is it's out and back or there's, it feels like a lot of driving and it becomes a chore. On maps like this, where the scenery is just, you know, I find it on Court Farm and all this, it's not a chore. It, 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 you know, you don't mind the drive because the drive's really nice. <laughs> I know it sounds bizarre and you know, there's probably people watching there, what are you talking about? But it depends what style of gameplay you like and if you're if you're all about just get in there, get it done, make as much money as possible, then you know, again, you've got to stop every now and again just to appreciate what's going on around you. So, Sugar Mill is just here. Apologies for that. Coughing fit out of absolutely nowhere. So, carry on down the hill. We've got the GCHB grain elevator cell point down the bottom. just down here there you go so back to the map we followed the road all the way down here wound our way down there sugar mill we're now down the gchb there now we need to wind our way back up again to this turning here and we need to follow this road along um, which one thing actually whether or not no i think that's quite steep there contour line wise i was just thinking maybe i could cut straight across but i will see you we're back over here because we're going we're going to drive all the way along there. I suppose I could possibly take that turn in. That's the Taylors. We need to go up there and then head out this way. So I'll see you at one of these locations around there in just a moment. Yeah, it's quite steep here. I'm turning up this track I'm, I'm i'm looking at the map thinking this should take me exactly where i need to go this isn't why i came when i did my um my sort of my test run but actually yeah spot on taylor's right in front of me couldn't have been better there we go there's our taylor shop if we turn across here we come to the third well fourth technically farm this is the more commercial one. This is a big old build, uh, build proposition, I guess. This has got the biogas plant on it as well. Now, when you come onto your farm manager to start from scratch, because you don't own any of the farms, to buy this particular farm with the biogas plant on it is 800 and something thousand. So it's a bit more expensive, but you do get a lot of bang for your buck. We'll stop just there hop out so if we come up this little track here and around the corner just in here we have workshop just up here is the farmhouse there we go lovely look at that can you imagine sitting there oh back down into the yard Plenty of barn and building space. Another farm at 800 silo. We've got our cows over here. Massive pasture out to the side as well. 200 cows. The silage clamps just over there. We've got a bale and pallet storage of 450 units. Can be stored in here. We don't have anything in there, but that's what that's for. Crosswise, our biogas plant, as I said, fairly standard, as far as I can tell. Silid, slurry, manure and sugar beet cut. We do generate electricity and methane, but the outgoing product is digestate. And it looks like the cycles for month 
fairly standard as far as I can tell. It's very cool. Multi-layered farmyards. Or multi-layered, multi-leveled. Multi-layered. A farm on top of a farm on top of a farm. It's farmception. Anyway, back to my tractor. So we are currently here. As you can see, all of that, which includes that massive pasture and that land around it. Yeah, 804,300 for that one. So that takes us to one last place, because if I follow the road around here, that takes us back up and will take us back along past the pizzeria and back to the main farm. But what I'm going to do here at the farmhouse, I'm going to take a left and you will see, you will see why momentarily. Is it if I've missed anything? I don't think I have. I've done what I usually do and try and check all the sort of spare plots of land. There are a few sheds and buildings that you sort of get when you buy certain plots of land, but I don't think I've missed any productions. Look at this, this. nice undulations. I haven't said that for a while, but it's a cracker. We come to this middle section here. This is plot 76. just here. Go to our map. So we've gone along there and we are now here at plot 76. If I click on that, 193,900 and purchase. We have horse pasture. Now this does 15 horses. Feed and water trigger. Dialogue box there for our 15 out in this pasture here. With our barn for the yeah, put bales in here or whatever it is pile up your oats ready to feed your horses it's entirely up to you and that is the map Krumbach by Red Kindstus I think you'll agree I mean you might not agree and you're fully entitled not to agree it is a really really nice map I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.